Hello there. How would you like to design and simulate a filter using Vitus Model Composer for AMD Xilinx? I'm John Petrus from MathWorks. This is a four part video series that covers getting started with the AMNET ZU Board Development Kit. In the last video, I showed you how to set up the project. Today, I'm going to discuss designing an algorithm and simulating on your PC. Next, I'll talk about how to elaborate the design for a specific FPGA device and hardware. And lastly, for part four, I'll show you how to create the final bitstream file to program the FPGA. The main package we'll use today is called Vitus Model Composer. This is an environment for designing algorithms and performing architectural trade-offs. Once you're all done and satisfied with performance, Vitus Model Composer will generate code automatically for your design and perform verification. If you want to learn more, you can go to this website page, read about features, capabilities, and try some of the tutorials and examples on your own. So let's go ahead to the Vitus Model Composer shortcut here and start up the program. Here is our main window. On the left, you can see folder and file hierarchy. In the middle is our command window and editor. And on the right is our workspace. So here's our design file for today. We'll open that up. Before we get into the filter design details, let me show you the library browser. This is uh, all of the design blocks you can use and integrate within your design. So for example, if you're interested in filters, there are 113 different blocks to choose from. On the bottom here, you can see the Xilinx specific blocks for both HDL, HLS, and other functions. So it's a very rich design environment with a lot of graph and blocks uh, to use for your design. Back to our fur filter design, there's a source coming in, shaped into a data matrix, converted here. Here's our filter design. For today's design, it's 103 tap filter. Convert it over again and feeding a spectrum analyzer output. So let's go ahead and run that. You can see the frequency response there. It's a little bandpass filter as shown in the output in the top right. One more thing I wanted to show you is the Model Composer Hub. We know what our target hardware is, so it's the Zinc Ultrascale MPSOC a 1CG FPGA device, so we have to specify that here under Target. In Settings, we'll want to make sure we specify IP Catalog Block for the output type. And then in the Generate screen, here's the location where the design files will be placed by Vitus Model Composer, and we will go ahead and hit Generate. And it looks like Vitus Model Composer ran OK. We get a status report here of resources used, performance estimates, latency, interfaces, and where all the I.O. had been placed. Let's review what I've discussed. In this video, I showed you how to design an algorithm and simulate it on your PC, and then run Vitus Model Composer to produce an IP catalog output. In the next video, I'll talk about how to elaborate the design and bring it into the Bovado design environment for synthesis, place, and route. Thank you for watching.